Hey guys, good way back. I'm Eric. Eric. And we are back with Chuck. They're happy. Are you happy? I'm happy when watching Chuck. I'm back with Chuck, yeah. Yep. Um, last time on Chuck, do you remember what, what we had occurring? Yeah. Casey's just like, ah! You're dead. And then he went, ah! Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he developed twice. He's in a coma. He's not dead. Dead. But Chuck is like, how could Sarah do this? Yeah, Sarah yep. is bad girl. Yep. Dark hair. She is. That's, that's, that reflects how bad she is, mm. right? Mm. No. So, so yeah. So now uh, she's there. Volkov is like, good. You're part of the family. Yep. And uh, um, we yeah, have Yuri the Gobbler. Yeah. Yes, that, that was that was yeah the episode before. No, it wasn't was it? The Gobbler was the episode before, wasn't it? What episode is this? Huh? This is thirteen, right? We're watching. Wasn't the Gobbler the last? Was the Gobbler the last one? Gobbler was the last one. Okay, and Gobbler. Steve's birthday. Which, uh, yeah, Gobbler was the last one. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Take notes, thinking I don't have anything. I don't have any notes. I don't uh, know my notes The Blob on. 2 shirt. Remember that? There was a The Blob 2 shirt. Yep. yep, it was. And uh, and uh, there was a false death, and uh, there was a big dude that he was he was Lash. That yes. happened. You don't remember that any of this? Gobbler. Think about this. That was the guy. I told you he was Lash. Grunka. Pants. Pants? He said pants. He wants pants on. The, the man's never going to wear pants again. Because, no, he, no, he has a thing. Remember? He got a thing in the in his pants. Yeah, yeah. half an eyeball. <laughs> oh, Ooh, a good old Chuck Flash. Ah, we haven't had these in a while. Yeah, <sighs> ah. that is fucking crazy. That's like one of the most advanced pieces of technology they've ever shown in the show. And we're just tossing it out there. Uh oh. Oh. Uh. Freaked out and jumped out of there real quick. Yeah. Well, yeah, if the power goes out, I don't want to be stuck in the elevator. These phones work. Get someone up here immediately. We've got a problem with them. Oh. What's going on? It's too soon. What the hell is going on? I want my wife back. Orion? Is he fucking with him? Yeah, he died. This is Chuck doing it, I bet. It's pretty cool, though. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's still alive. No, come on. I saw the man die. Ryan, 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 uh, Ryan, if that, Ryan, Ryan, if that Ryan. happens, I don't know how. Maybe he, like, has some kind of backup clone in his basement. Backup clone in his basement? You never know. It's, it's Chuck. It could be anything. Thanks for uh, meeting me here. I appreciate that. Hold on one second. Okay, Ellie's. And boom. Push makes me Just Push makes me oh, okay. order. Oh, thanks, bro. I know you're busy. We had music for our oh, first job. Music. What's happening? Me, Jeff. Why are they taking the push mix? The first sounds that a child hears should not be from an audio disc. What's the matter with these people? They should be raw, unfiltered, live. What, Eric? This baby needs a performance. Uh, let's do this. Nothing can get in our way. I told you to take the flippers off. <laughs> <laughs> so What's going on, buddy? We gotta go. You were told me you were gonna be wearing something else underneath that wet suit. Morgan, are you telling me you're not wearing any clothes no, under there? No. Underwear? Chuck, I'm wearing underwear. I mean, because how do you even fit anything else under there? Where does it all go? Maybe this will help us with the way in. Uh, Morgan, we don't know what's gonna happen if you do that. Easy. Easy. Wait, this can't be right. <laughs> Uh, lasers on a ship. <laughs> oh, but those kind of lasers. I think I'm gonna die in here. Morgan, what's happening? Are you crazy? He can't go through all those lasers. Are you kidding me? I can't go through these yoga. lasers. This could be the only chance you have. Yoga? You have yeah. Is that yoga, yoga, yoga seal. seal. <laughs> Why? <laughs> server room and he's in his underwear. <laughs> Morgan? Morgan, don't you ever do that? Frost, I am very disappointed in you. Chuck already's counted on this, I feel like. Death is the solution to all problems. <laughs> 
What a password. Yeah. My favorite. You do realize that to get out of here alive, you have to stay. Yes, I know. Ah, the lasers. Run! More coming. Good thing they delayed turning on so long. No, trust me, Alexei. No. Nothing! Damn it! Ah. Man, that guy took a shot. Good for him. That's a great henchman. Oh! oh that henchman's dead now. It was not a great thing you did. <laughs> you don't, don't hit his woman. He's the most proactive henchman in the history of television, and they killed him. That's the kind of shit you always say. They should just do this. Mm -hmm. Why'd they do this? He did. You want the truth, Alexi. The truth is, my husband, alive or dead, will always be ten times the man you are. Bring a trap. What kind of trap? Charles. Hello, Alexi. I believe you were looking for me. Oh! What? Thwack! Yep. Didn't expect that, did you? Russian. Damn. Chester's gonna take care of that guy. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Oh, Airlines range. Stay out of range. Going to Casey, huh? Bonsai, bitch. Had to wait until he could say all the words. <laughs> That's good. In the end, it was Stephen J. Bartowski who took you down. Like looks can be deceiving. Move it. 
He doesn't care. Trying. <laughs> Not a screen. Yeah. And other things. Just too much color in her face, too. Hello, <laughs> hand. Balcony. Don't need no Sicily. Plus, he pulled off the ultimate spy move in this whole goddamn show. What's that guy? Why this guy? Who's this guy? The Russian. He's clean the floor. He's a janitor. Mm -hmm. I don't trust janitors. All Russians are janitors. Right here. I don't know. <laughs> All right. No, it's a nice. Is that like a finale? It, it felt like one. It feels like it's the end of a season, yeah. doesn't it? But I'm pretty sure this season goes longer. I mean, there's another episode, episode 14. Yeah. I got that. <laughs> yeah, I think this season goes into like 20-something. But yeah. it might have been like a mid-season finale. Maybe. I don't know if there was like a break between mm -hmm. when they did it. Or if they wrote like, it and made it out to be like, okay, here's an end of a season kind of thing. Maybe they like ordered a certain amount and like, ah, let's order some more. Like, God damn it. Because if you ended there, like if you were, if I was done with the series, like, if, you know, I feel like that would wrap it up like, yeah, eh, it's fairly... Yeah. Fairly satisfying, you know. Like I would be upset that there wasn't more, but I would be like, "Hey, Chuck finally came into his own." Or something yeah, like you know, they got his mom back, which is what his dad was after. Uh -huh. You know, him and Sarah are getting engaged. Yeah. She obviously said yes there. You know, you have the dad, you have Casey with uh, Morgan and his yeah. daughter, and they have kind of a connection there of not leaving. Mm -hmm. You get the baby being born for awesome. Yeah. You kind of get like a nice kind of almost wrap up for everybody there. But I like how the the proposal there, like it has it has that Jenner in the front. But it's kind of like, look, this is just a very, there's nothing special about this. Yeah. You know, there's this random noise, the janitor over here just cleaning mm -hmm. some stuff. But, you know, he felt like it was the right moment. And sure. He just it went through it. Rather yeah. than having that whole, like you said, no Sicily, no It doesn't need to be there. That's not what the important thing is. The important thing is you got to do it now before you lose the chance. Yeah. So, because so. uh, a lot of the complication of the show is like not taking chances, not seizing opportunities. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, um, it's a great episode. One of my favorites of the whole show. Yeah, I like how he uses Orion to like pull. Bull yeah, Bob Chuck's away. plan was perfect. I knew something was up, mm -hmm. especially when he was doing something there. Like, what's that? Is it nothing? You know, I'm like, okay, he's doing something, but I didn't realize it would be so many levels deep and literally finish off their big bad. Yeah. Well, and like he gets poor. He's like, "This was part of my plan." Yeah. It's like, was he saying that because it was? Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't buy that Orion was back or, or something like that. I like, that has to be Chuck, and good for him for like using that, because that's gonna be a sore spot and stuff. But like, I thought that was how how deep it went, and yeah. it went way deeper. So I'm way happy. I mean, yeah. luckily, Casey was strong enough. You know, that part of the plan was like, <laughs> you know, but yeah. They had to just trust that Casey would take care of himself. They do that beep. Yeah. Like, Jesus. But he took off. <laughs> The uh, monitor took off that cool. and disconnected the cable and stuff, yeah. so that's good. Um, I kind of like like the shadowy chair, like for a second, like when it's back and you first see it. I feel like it kind of looks like you, you um, can buy. I could buy it. Yeah. Oh, shoot, Scott Bakula. Yeah. yeah, I was just I, was, I just blanked on his name. Like no, yeah. not Steven. <laughs> that's sure. his real name. Yeah. 
But it kind of looked, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it kind of looked like him for a minute, and then like especially once he stands up, sure, you're like that's that's Chuck. Look yeah. how long and tall he is, you know. Yeah, but I mean, it's cool that like Chuck pulled off something so advanced, you mm-hmm. know, like yeah. For ultimately, what is he? You know, he's he's gotten these you know these skills and stuff, but like we have to just kind of accept that like you know his his college and his buy more experience has gotten to the point where he's like cracking and breaking into these world renowned. Security networks, you know. But yeah. At this point, I buy it, you know, especially because he has the intersect. Mm-hmm. So, um, we got a flash in here. A long time since we've had a flash. We did on the eyeball yeah. thing, right? Got eye maker, mm-hmm. eye mocker. Yeah. So yeah, well, I think the only things we've really had flashes on lately has been like fighting, right? Yeah. It's like the pretty much. But now having it be a clue is, it takes me back to the early days. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, we were, we were like, oh, let's do an episode of Chuck. I'm like, okay, and I went back. I'm like, oh, I'll wear this shirt. It was extremely relevant this time. It had Jeff's there, at least, yeah. They played, they wore the shirts. Yeah. They sang Push It. Yeah. It's a fun little sequence, too. I like yeah, the one random good. person who's the like... The one lady that's actually dancing. Like, What's happening? What? And they took it, like, they blitzed it away, and all the girls like, oh. I'm like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> but no, like, when they come in, like, there's so many things that they do and say, uh-huh. and I'm just like, these two. And they have such different views, and they're both equally terrible, you know what I mean? It really is like, ew, pregnant ladies. Oh, pregnant ladies. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Jesus. Each one of them is, yeah, it's <laughs> equally terrible. Yeah, they're both equally terrible, but on the opposite sides of the spectrum, you know? And we need to shape the youth, the youth of America. It's like, I'm not allowed to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're an interesting couple of people. I do kind of miss um, Big Mike. I feel like you don't see him too you much. You don't see him as much. Not, at least not in this season. We yeah. haven't seen him too much since the, the Buy More guy yeah. given like the Morgan and all that kind of stuff, but um, you still get Jester because you, you gotta know. keep him. You gotta keep the buy more, not super. Even Casey like recognizing what was happening, he's like Jester, <laughs> you know. Like they knew for the second it started happening. Yeah. What do you think of? Uh, you also have Casey's little like talk to Devin. Yeah, that was that was really good. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, as soon as he rolled up, I'm like, this is this is gonna be a good connection they have here because he didn't miss out on so much, and I never doubted for a moment that. Devin won't be an literally awesome dad. He just is scared, yeah. you know. So, like, it's just one of those things that it's it's sometimes it's it's the hardest to start something than it is to even actually do something. Like as a procrastinator, that's how I feel sometimes. I'm like, if I just started doing it, I can do it. I just don't want to start, you know. And that's the hardest part. It's the hardest leap. So he just yeah. felt that pressure, and it's like, I, you know, I know he can do it, but I mean, he has that obsession with being perfect, and whenever it goes away. Then he has to improv, and you know, he, all of his preparedness doesn't, he's not ready for that, you know? Yeah. So and it's that, good. The first kid, too, is like, I feel like the most difficult. And it's always the one, like, for me, like, the first kid, like, you're like, be kind of being scared of holding it, you know? Sure. Like, man, what do I do with this thing? I've never had a baby. Yeah. Brand, this is a brand new baby, you know? Yeah. And like, how do you raise it? What do you do? And then once you have your fourth kid, like, they're crying and stuff. Ah! Sure. And instead of being like, what's wrong? What's wrong? It's like, oh, they didn't come running here yet. They must not be that bad. <laughs> Three more minutes until I keep crying. <laughs> no, I, I get you. I don't have any children myself, but I slightly had that those experiences when my when my sister, who was living with my mom at the time, I was living with her. Yeah, she had her first baby, and I remember like feeling that way, you know. But it's yeah. obviously extremely different because it's like, well, my sister, and my mom were there as well, you know, so it's not the same. But uh, yeah, I, I can imagine that. It's like, you know, it, the first time you do anything, it's like, oh, yeah. And then you're like, I've done this a couple times. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal. Imagine, like, skydiving. Like, the first time you do it, it's going to be nerve-wracking and stuff. Yeah. But if you've done it a few times, like, by your fifth attempt, you're like, yeah, yeah, I've done this a few sure. other times. You know, it's, it's no big deal. Yeah. It's kind of like that. Yeah, I get you. I imagine. I'm never going skydiving. It's too scary. We should do that. That'd be fun. <laughs> Vlog is like, ah. Yeah. First time you're going to be attached to a dude, right? Or, or, yeah. or a teacher or whatever. I was saying, the five of us went skydiving, and then there was like five instructions. They're like turning around, they draw straws, who has to do do with me? Damn it. All right, buddy, come on over here. <laughs> it's like the smallest person. <laughs> You're, they're like a backpack to you. I've always said it'd be so funny if he's on there, like the the, the shoot goes up, and he's like, ah! You miss the other one? Ah! He fucking drops me. <laughs> it's too much, you can't do it. Oh, man. Uh, uh, I, I like uh, I like getting back to this. Um, yeah, we were mentioning Casey and stuff, and I like what they've done from like 
the first you know first episode of season one mm-hmm. and like what they do with him through like season one into season two talking yeah. about like all right well once we have the intersect or whatever you have to kill Bartowski sure stuff, exactly you know? and he's becoming kind of like this anti like he's not like a antagonist but he's like when, when's yeah. this gonna turn when's gonna flip then you get the whole like what was the thing about like you know Devin found out but then you know they had a little thing and then uh, Ellie didn't like him because mm-hmm. he like showed himself in public or yeah. something you know like they yeah. had all these different things but eventually getting here with like his daughter and kind of getting used to more on Grimes yeah I mean <laughs> like, right where it's Ellie being like Casey's family you know for their form so. yeah so I, I like what they've done with him a lot and like yeah. most characters too like they've all grown and changed in little ways here and there and I absolutely love this he doesn't even have to say you don't have to say anything she's like I'm sorry Casey and he's like oh he probably likes her more because she did it. You know? Yeah, right? It's like, it was a mission, you know? And that's how he's always been, is the mission. Yeah. So. I also kind of like that they send the mom in. Like, yeah. Ellie was spending a lot of time trying so to get that mom connection, and then didn't get it, and then did have her there the one time with Volkov. <laughs> I mean, she spent, like, what, 25 years doing this stuff, and Chuck decided, I'm going to figure out how to beat him, and did it in a day. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like... If anything, it's like, yeah, but, I mean, you could have been more efficient. Look what I did, you know? Yeah. I mean, a lot of the puzzle pieces kind of started to fall in place, I guess, for him, too. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it was like that. He just decided to finish this. He wasn't like, he's like, oh, the, all the things have fallen into place for me. He's like, you know what? They're off doing this, off doing this. I don't like it. I'm going to stop it now. And he did. <laughs> he did. He did. So, I, I like that. I also like that, you know, he, th- he thought of everything. He got, you know, Beckman in on the plan. That was a great reveal with Beckman. I imagine it was something. I thought maybe it was going to be like the team or something. Mm-hmm. But it being Beckman, like little Beckman in front of all this They just open that door and she's just yeah. there. That's so funny. <laughs> I love that. That'd be like your parachute instructor. Right? And Beckman. Like, yeah. That'd be great. I'd love it. Love it. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Chuck. If you want to check out the next one, I don't know what the next one's going to be. This one seems like it wrap things up. Uh, next episode's over at patreon.com slash blindwave, where you can watch it right now. Also, full length is over there and other shows all throughout the week. So make sure you subscribe.